Did Trapkun just get off screened? No, no, no. Kubo, no, no. After all the build up to Trapkun with Kronosuchi, you're telling me that she or he, Trapkun, got off screened. No, 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 no. Kinsei and everybody popping up to help out. Bakia, it just, no, no, no. D d I mean, it's good. I'm not putting that down. It's just like, no, you took down Trap Coon. She had, she had so much potential. Damn it. <sighs> well, at least we have Big L. Okay, we have Big L, and that means that he'll spread his love. War's love. Battle is love. Love is life. Life is love. There you go. I had to say it. So, anyways. <sighs> The chapter. It's hard to take serious when you have this dude, Pepe, I think his name is, or Big Al, I'm just gonna call him fucking Big L, turn into Cupid. He literally regurgitates or spits up a bow and a freaking arrow like Cupid, like a Cupid bow and arrow out of his fucking throat, and he shoots it. Kubo man. Kubo man. Kubo man. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, seriously, what you been doing for, like, a couple months now? It makes me question your your love life. It really does. It makes me question Kubo's love life because, I mean, you know, writing takes the form of the writer's thoughts or how they truly feel, and you can see that. And Kubo's thoughts are definitely leaking out in these previous chapters over the course of these couple months because... What the fuck? It was a good chapter. It's interesting. Just like, the fuck? Once again, man, this big L dude. Just like, he, he became Cupid. He, he, he's, he's fucking Cupid. He, he, he was Cupid. There, there is no other thing you could describe about this dude. He was Cupid. A big Cupid. Just give this dude... Well, actually, I was about to say give this dude some wings, but technically he did have some wings because he transformed into fucking Cupid Buddha or something. I, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know how to feel about this chapter. I, I, I just... I don't know how to feel. It, it's a good chapter. It, and you get to see some fighting. You get to see Makia, you know, fight him. I guess for a little bit. And you see, you know, how Makia just throws the sword. And Zenpakdos can, you know, be transferred into, you know, love slaves. Big L. But besides that, that's really technically all that happened. I'm not really complaining about the pacing or anything. I'm not. Just the, the freaking... The events that are leading up to this point, just like, what? Uh, artwork was good, I'm gonna be honest there, artwork was really nice, it was good. It just, the, the question of this chapter, the big questions that arise with it, is that did Trapkun get off screen? That, that's the big thing I'm wondering about, okay? Because since Kensei pops up at the end of this chapter, it shows you that, you know, Kurosuchi has taken control of Trapkun's, you know, zombies. And so that pretty much means that... Trap Coon is probably defeated, which is kind of depressing because all the build up for her or he or whatever fucking a I'm just see that's why she's called Trap Coon, okay? You don't know if it's a girl or a guy even though she jizzes all the time when she says it. So anyways, pretty much it, There's been so much build up behind her character. I keep saying fucking her Trap Coon There's been so much build up, okay? And to see if that character does get, you know, off screen, that really just crushes those chapters that was trying to build up that character. So, hopefully Kubo didn't do that. I hope and I pray he did not do that because that would really crush the, the character development, honestly. But, tell me your thoughts, personally, how you felt about this chapter of Bleach. I mean, it's an interesting chapter, no denying that. It just... Mainly Cupid and love and stuff, and I'm guessing, you know, Kubo wants his Valentine's Day to get here, so... Tell me your thoughts, everybody. I love all of you so much. You have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. She be out.